Did you know that on average, employees receive a whopping 126 emails every single day? Now imagine if you tried to process each and every one of those emails, you'd end up losing a staggering one third of your precious day. But fear not, because we've got your back with some game changing tips and strategies to reclaim control of your inbox and skyrocket your productivity. Conditional formatting. You can actually make important messages in your inbox stand out by using conditional formatting. Let me show you how it works. So I've got these three email messages and let's say a colleague named Emily sent me one that I really need to focus on to make it stand out. I'll click on the view tab up here, then choose view settings. Here, click on conditional formatting. This opens up the view settings where I can do some magic. See all these existing rules? Well, you can modify them or create your own. I'll click on add to create a new rule and let's call it from Emily. Now I'll click on fonts to make it visually appealing. I'll change the color to red, make it bold and increase the font size. Looking good. Next, I'll set the condition for when this formatting applies. It's pretty flexible. You can filter messages based on various criteria. For simplicity, I'll just say from Emily. Cool, right? I'll keep it simple and hit OK. Now when Emily's message comes in, it will totally stand out in my inbox. No more missing important stuff. Two or CC rule. All right, let me introduce you to what I call the two or CC rule. Check out my inbox here. I've got four different messages. So Emily sent me a request and I'm on the two line. Peter asked a question and yup, I'm on the two line again. Then Peter sent another email, but this time he put me on CC and it's something I want to keep track of. Oh, and look at the newsletter from Alex at Jamie Shipping Company. He sent it to a bunch of people, but it's just informational. No action is needed. You know how newsletters can pile up and get overwhelming, right? Well, this rule can help you focus on what matters most. Let's set it up. Go to the Home tab, click on Rules in the center, and then choose Create Rule. This opens up a prompt where we'll create the rule. Let's jump into Advanced Options. Here in the Rules Wizard, we'll select the condition. We want this to apply to every message that lands in our inbox, so no need to select anything here, just hit Next. Now for messages that don't have us on the To or CC line, like Alex's newsletter, we don't want them to clutter our inbox, but we also don't want to delete them in case we need to refer back to them. So we'll select to move them to a specified folder. Click Specify and choose the Archive folder. That way, we can still access them if needed. Click OK, then hit Next. On the last screen, we can choose any exceptions, but we want our To and CC messages to stay in the inbox. So we will select Except if my name is in the To or CC box. Click Next again. Now, let's give this rule a name, like Keep Messages in Inbox, To or CC. You can also choose to run this rule on all messages already in your inbox. Once you're all set, click Finish. Now, take a look at my inbox. Ta-da! Only messages where I'm on the tour CC line are left, and all the others are tucked away in the archive. Neat, right? It's an excellent way to stay focused on what matters most. Flag to create tasks from email. All right, let's talk about how to efficiently triage everything that lands in your inbox. With the previous tips, we've managed to reduce the overwhelming number of messages. So now you should have a much more manageable list that needs your attention. Take this first message, for example. I'm on CC and it's something I want to read. So after checking it out, I'll just click on Archive up in the top toolbar and it'll be moved to the Archive folder. Super easy. If I ever need to refer back to it, I can easily find it there or even search for it. Now here's an email from Peter with a question that requires follow-up. It's about an important project that needs some research, so I can't respond right away. What I'll do is hover over this message and flag it for my task list or to-do list. Now it's all set, and I want to get it out of my inbox, so I'll simply click on Archive and voila, it's out of sight but not forgotten. With my inbox successfully triaged, I can now switch over to the task view to focus solely on the messages that need my response. I'll head down to the left-hand short bar and click on Tasks. There, I'll see the email from Peter with that question. Once I gather all the necessary information, I can click on this task and respond to him. Easy peasy. One of the coolest things about flagging emails in Outlook is that they also show up in Microsoft To Do. If you use To Do as a task manager, 
This feature is a real game changer. On the left hand side, I'll click on flagged email and there's the message I flagged earlier. Let's say that today I'm creating a list of all the action items I want to focus on. I can right click on this message and add it to my day. When I click into my day on the left hand side, I can see all the tasks I want to tackle today. If you've never used the My Day View before, it's an excellent way to stay productive each day. It resets every day, giving you a clean slate to plan and organize your tasks. So there you have it, a simple way to triage your inbox and keep your focus on what really matters. You got this. Follow up to get things done. You know what can be frustrating? When you ask someone a question or request something, but they never get back to you. Well, fear not. Outlook has a neat trick to help you remember and follow up with them. Let me show you how it works. So here's an email I'm sending to Alex with a request, and I want to make sure he doesn't forget about it. Up above, I'll simply click on the follow-up flag, and I'll set it to no date. Now my message is all set to go, so I'll click on send. Now in my task view, I can easily spot the email I just flagged, but it's mixed in with all my other tasks. I want to organize it better, so I'll right click on the task, and down here I'll click on categorize, then choose all categories. Here I'll add a new category called waiting for response. I think red will make it stand out, so I'll pick that color and click OK and then OK again. Back on the main view, up top, I'll click on view and here I can switch to categories. Ta-da! Now I can see all my emails where I'm waiting for a response. Pretty handy, right? So, maybe at the end of each week, I'll go through these messages, and if I haven't heard back from the recipients, I'll just ping them again to check for updates. That's how you can keep track of important emails and make sure you get the responses you need. Organize your emails with action-based folder. Let's talk about organizing your emails with a folder system that actually works for you. In the past, I used to have this elaborate multi-level folder structure to archive emails based on different subjects. It seemed fine at first, but as the list kept growing, it became a hassle trying to figure out where to put each email. And trust me, when I needed to find something later, it turned into a search mission, defeating the whole purpose. Now I follow a more action-based folder structure, keeping things simple with just a few folders. Here's how you can set it up too. First, let's avoid rereading emails multiple times, shall we? When I read an email, I take immediate action if it takes just a couple of minutes to complete. Like, if I need to send a receipt to accounting, I do it right away. Simple tasks get done immediately to clear them off my plate. Next, I decide if an email is something I might need to refer back to in the future or for any reason. If it's important, I'll click on archive to move it out of my inbox and into the archive folder. Easy to find using the search function later on. But if it's not needed anymore, a quick click on delete moves it to the deleted items, and I make sure to regularly empty that folder. Now for emails that require more time or action, here's where my trusty action required folder comes in. To create a new folder, simply right click on your mailbox, select new folder, give it a name, and hit enter. You can also drag and drop to organize your folders as you like. When I come across an email that needs more than a quick reply or can't be deleted, I use Quick Steps. Right click on the message, select Quick Steps, then New Quick Step, and move to Folder. Give it a name, choose the folder, and click Finish. Now just click on the Quick Step in the Home tab to move the email out of the inbox. You can even add a shortcut for it to make it even quicker. Remember, don't create too many folders or you'll end up with another mess. Instead, you can delegate tasks to someone by forwarding the email or using Outlook's follow-up feature to stay on top of important emails that require action. So, with this simple folder system and some nifty quick steps, you'll have your inbox under control and your important emails won't slip through the cracks. Change startup folder. Let's tweak the way Outlook opens so that you'll see your action folder right from the start. This way, you'll be greeted with the tasks you need to tackle first thing, which is super helpful for staying focused. Click on File in the top left corner of Outlook. Choose Options from the menu that pops up. Here select the Advanced tab on the left hand side. Now look for Outlook Start and Exit in the right hand section. Here at the Start Outlook in this folder section, click on the Browse button. You'll be able to select the folder you want as the Start folder. Just find and pick your Action folder, that's it. Now, every time you open Outlook, the action folder will be front and center, reminding you of what you need to focus on. 
no more distractions from other emails, and you won't forget to check your action folder anymore. Stop mail notifications to stay focused. Outlook has a way of constantly interrupting your workflow with all those message notifications, right? But don't worry, I've got a little trick to help you stay focused without those constant alerts. First, look up in the top left-hand corner and click on File. Then scroll down and find Options from the menu. Once you're in the Options, go to the Mail section. Now, let's look for message arrival in that area. This is where you can control what happens when you receive a new message. By default, you'll probably have various options checked, like sounds, alerts, and notifications. But if you're like me and you get loads of emails daily, those beeps and pop-ups can get really distracting. So go ahead and uncheck those boxes for sounds, alerts, and notifications. You'll feel more in control of your focus, trust me. After unchecking all those boxes, just click on OK and voila! You won't be interrupted by constant Outlook alerts anymore, allowing you to work without distractions. Happy productivity! Work offline for a more focused session. So here's a handy trick for you when you want some email free time but still need to work on other stuff using Outlook. Just switch to offline mode and you won't be bothered by incoming emails. To do this, go up to the Send Receive tab and you'll see an option there called Work Offline. Give that a click and guess what? You're now in offline mode, which means no new emails will come knocking on your door. You can also check if you're in offline mode by looking at the status bar down below. It'll show you that you're currently offline. Neat, right? Now, when you're ready to dive back into your inbox, just click on Work Offline again and your Outlook will update, showing you all the new emails that have arrived during your productive time. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.